Hi guys, it's Thursday and today we are going to take our ELA test. So before we take our test, I want to give you a few reminders. First, I want to remind you to hit the quan, hit the quan. So remember that the Q stands for read the entire question. You want to read the question all the way through so that you understand what answer you're looking for. Then you want to underline the important words or phrases in the passage and in the text. Then you want to answer the question. And to do this, you need to make sure you read every answer choice. Then N stands for note. We want to note evidence from the text to prove your answer. How do you know your answer is correct? So here we have our practice test, and I know we did our practice test yesterday together on our call, but I want to give you the chance to go through and read this passage on your own and see if you can answer the questions yourself. And remember how we talked about finding the answer. Pause the video and read this passage. Okay, now that you've read the passage, Let's look at the questions. So the first question says, read the sentence from the story. According to the context of the story, what does the phrase barn sour mean? So already I see something important that I want to remember. I see according to the context of the story. And that reminds me that I'm going to find that answer in the passage. So let's look back at our passage. We're going to find the section that talks about barn sour. Oh, poor Jake. He said he's just barn sour. What does barn sour mean, Jenny asked. It means he wants to go back into the barn. He is hungry and tired. So the passage just told me that barn sour means he is hungry and tired. So read your answer choices and point to the one that is the correct answer. Did you point to Jake is tired? If you did, give yourself a pat on the back because that was correct. The passage told us that barn sour means he was hungry and tired. Okay, let's look at number two. Number two has a part A and part B. And remember, part A and part B go together like peanut butter and jelly. Ham and cheese, they are going to be partners and best buddies until the end. So these two answer questions are going to match. Part A is going to match part B, and part B is going to match part A. So let's look at the question. Why does Jake stop on the path? Why does Jake stop on the path? Let's go back to the passage, and let's find where Jake stopped on the path. Do you see it? Point to it. There you go. Jenny's dad, Bill, was walking down the path to the farm. He saw Jake stop. Then, before that, it says, he stopped and looked at her. He was not happy. So if we keep reading, we'll see why he was not happy. Because he was barn sour. Let's look at our choices. Read the answer choices and find the one that matches what we just read. What do we know about Jake being barn sour? And what do we know about why he didn't want to keep going? Yes, you got it. He wants to go back to the barn. Okay, so that's why he stopped. Now, part B is going to be our proof. We're going to show how we know. How did we until so part B says, which sentence from the story explains why Jake stopped? So if we said the answer is he wanted to go back to the barn, which sentence tells us that we know he wanted to go back to the barn? Read all the answer choices carefully. You got it. I said Answer A. Did you say that answer? That's correct. 
And if we look at them carefully and we know that part A and part B are going to match, I notice in both of them, I see he wants to go back to the barn. He wants to go back to the barn. So they both match because they both talk about him. Want, Jake wanted to go back to the barn. The next question says, what is this story mostly about? Pause your video and go and think about what are we asking when we talk about what the story is mostly about? What is that called? I can't hear you. What is it called? That's right. When we talk about what a story is mostly about, that is the main idea. So with this question is asking, what is the main idea of this story? What was it mostly about? Let's read our answer choices. Jake and Jenny want to go back to the barn. Now, do both Jake and Jenny want to go back to the barn or just one of them? Yes, Jenny wanted to go back to the barn. So I'm not going to select this because both of them did not want to go back to the barn. Okay, let's look at the next choice. Jake and Jenny want to go to the pond. Do they both want to go to the pond? No, they don't. Jenny wants to go to the pond. Jake does not. And the last choice, Jake and Jenny want to go different places. Do they both want to go to different places? Yes, they do, because Jake wants to go to the barn and Jenny wants to go to the pond. So this story is mostly about the two of them wanting to go to different places. Okay, number five. Draw a line from each box on the left, that's beginning, middle, and end, to the correct event on the right. So we're going to draw a line from here to, want to match it to the correct box over here. So to do this, I think that it is a good idea for us to go back to the passage and find and underline each one of these events. So let's do that. And then we can tell which order they should go in, which one happened first in the beginning, which one happened in the middle, and which one happened at the end. So the first event that we read says, Jenny pulls Jake's ropes hard to try to make him go, but she can't. So I'm going to find the section that talks about her pulling his ropes and that she can't make him go. There you go. She pulled his rope and couldn't make him go. Okay. Now the next one says, Jenny decides she wants to go to the pond. So I'm going to find the section that talks about Jenny going to the pond. Here it is. Jenny wants to go to the pond. There she could watch the ducks or read a book. And the last event, Jenny asks Dad what barn sour means and tries to find out why Jake stops. So let's find that event. Put your finger on it. There we go. You, we've already underlined it before. What? Does barn sour mean? And then she goes on to try to see why he won't, why did he stop? Okay, so now, in the beginning, we said, we see that Jenny wanted to go to the pond. That happened in the beginning. In the middle, she asked, what does barn sour mean? And in the end, she tried to pull his ropes to make him go, but she couldn't. So let's match it up. In the beginning, which event did we say happened first? That's right, she wanted to go to the pond first. What happened in the middle? That's right, she asked dad, her dad what barn sour means, and at the end, she tried to pull on his ropes and make him go, but she couldn't. That's exactly right. Okay, let's look at number six. What does Jenny want to do at the pond? P, 
pick two choices. Now in this sentence, in this question, I'm going to circle that I'm going to pick two choices because that's going to be important for me. I want to remember that there are two correct answers. And I want to make sure that I pick two choices so that the question doesn't mark one of them wrong. I want to pick two choices so that I don't miss one. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the part of the passage that talks about what does she want to do at the pond. Find the part of the passage that talks about what she could do at the pond. Yes, there she could watch the ducks or read a book. So two things I see that she could do. What are they? That's right. Watch the ducks or read a book. So I'm looking for those two answers for my answer choice. Do you see it? Which two am I going to select? That's right. Read books and watch ducks. Okay? Now, my final question. It says, select a sentence that tells what happened each time Jenny pulled on Jake's rope. So we have three options. Jenny's face got red. Jake put his head down. Jenny kicked up dust. And I noticed that she pulled on his ropes three times. She pulled a first time, a second time, and a third time. So now I'm going to look in the passage to find each part that talks about when Jenny pulled on his ropes. Point to it when you find it. Yeah, there you go. So the first time she got down from Jake and pulled his rope. So that's the first time. That's number one. Okay, what happened when she pulled on his rope? Jake's head came down toward Jenny. Okay, where's the second time that she pulled his rope? That's it. We keep reading and it says Jenny pulled again using both hands. She pulled hard. Her small round face turned red. So that is the second time that she pulled his rope. And what is the third time? Do we see that? You bet we do. She pulled one more time even harder. Her boots kicked up a cloud of dust from the path. That is the third time she tried to pull his rope. So now let's put them in order. The first time, Jake she got down and pulled his rope. What happened? Jake's head came down. The second time she pulled, what happened? She pulled hard. Her small round face turned red and her hair flopped down on her back. And the last time she pulled, what happened? Her boots kicked up a cloud of dust from the path. So let's put them in order. What did we say happened first? That's right, Jake put his head down. So we'll write that in the box. And then we'll mark that one out because we don't need to use it anymore. Hard to write on my computer. My handwriting is not neat at all. Okay. Then what do we say happened the second time she pulled on Jake's rope? That's right. Her face got red. Jenny's face got red. And the last time, what happened? 
Jenny kicked up dust. That's right. Jenny kicked up dust. Okay. So now you are going to take your reading test and I know you're going to rock it. You're going to remember to hit that coin and pay attention to all of your questions. Read all of your answer choices. Use the passage. Don't try to guess an answer. The answers are right there in the passage. And I know you're going to do a great job. Talk to you later.